Hi, I'm here with Sarkan from Texas Instruments, and behind us is a gallium nitride-based grid link. Sarkan's going to tell us a little bit about it. Sarkan, what was the uh, basis of this demo that you developed here? So we, what we are doing here is actually we are showcasing a three-phase, three-level bidirectional grid-tight inverter, which we developed by jointly by TI and Siemens. And we are using our TI GAMFES, which are 600 volt GAMFES, which are also integrating the driver, as well as some smart features like overcurrent protection and over temperature protection in a single low inductance package. So that helps us to switch really fast with minimum overshoot. And here, here in this demo, we are showing how we can get benefit advantage in a three level, three phase application using GAMS. I see. So here we are actually increasing the switching frequency from 20 kilohertz to 150 kilohertz, and that helps shrink the size of the passives in the system. So we shrink the inductor size by 80% and the power semiconductor throughput area by 80%. Yeah. If you were to try to do this with IGBT, say, how big would this be? Well, the inductors you can see here could be at least five times larger yeah. than 10 kilohertz. What about the whole package? Well, the package itself, if you look at the power semiconductor area, the footprint area increases by 300%. Oh, wow. wow. So, in, a, in the real world, where would this um, circuit lie in the grid system? So, it can be used in uh, solar inverters, grid tight, which accepts a high DC link voltage. Another application is the EV chargers and battery storage systems that accepts high voltage. So there are plenty of applications. I see. And uh, this is kind of a research project. So what's the plan for this? So uh, this is a research project uh, developed by Siemens. Right. And uh, there right now we are partnering and we are looking at the advantages of CAN. And here is, this is what we have. I right see. Now. Would uh, this take the form of a commercial project at some point? Uh, it may turn into a commercial project. Uh, we don't know. The, we will see what will happen with this. Session. You've also got a um, thermal camera aimed at some of these parts. Right. Talk, to us a little, talk to us a little bit about what we're seeing there. Sure. So this is running at 150 kilohertz, as I said. The peak efficiency is 99%. And that gives us a really cool environment, cool FETs. So this, this camera right here is focusing on the High, switch, high switching frequency GANs, and you can see the, the thermal image here, it stays, the temperature stays at 65 degrees C. And the cooling is done with two quiet fans and there's not much of air cooling. Interesting. Well, that's, a, that's pretty interesting technology there. Yeah, yes. so thank you for taking us through. Thank you.